Okay, so we've got Famine's Vestments, War's Armor, Pestilence's Plating, and Death's Jacket. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the vault. Apologies for the echo, uh, but this room is now empty. As you might know from the last episode, I explained it all, but, you know, as we're going to go, moving straight on. So, um, I didn't log in that much this week. I've been super busy, but we have got a lot of stuff to take care of uh, from the aftermath of the last, well, for the box, uh, the pack opening from last week. And, um, yeah, let's just go through, first of all, and pick up all the bits and bobs. And we have got someone waiting as well, but we've got too many people in the queue to be able to accept them. Um, and we've got this bad boy as well, the old Dragon's Moor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft another one straight off the bat. So, um, Legendary, and we want to go down to a Dragon's Moor. Um, so we've got plenty of junk. Uh, we could do with some more um, flasks, though, to be honest. Um, but there we go, that's crafting. Thank you very much. And um, we've got some people waiting as well. Out. Another cool thing that happened is we got two more epic candidates. Uh, Mother Brenda, or Epic Brenda, and Mother Tammy. Now these two ladies are fully maxed out and they have the best gear, uh, best endurance gear I can give them at the moment. And they're out there leveling up, or they're leveling their wee little socks off. And of course, um, as I found out last week, uh, when they level up even on the, in, the, um, in the wasteland, Every time they level up, they, they get full health again, which um, I didn't realize that was the case for the Wasteland. Obviously, I knew that was the case um, in the Vault and all missions and stuff like that. But anyway, you learn something new every day. Um, so we, they've got some experienced pets on them. Uh, one is like plus eight experience, which is pretty crap. And the other one, which is probably that one there. And the other one's like plus 38% experience, which is, well, it's better, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, 38 is definitely better than eight um, or whatever I said. I can't remember. And of course, we've got, um, we've got Epic Cook waiting to come in. And We've got Epic Bush waiting to come in as well. Now, um, let's just close that a second. Uh, oh, Christ. So we did keep getting attacked by rad scorpions and stuff every time I bloody logged in. It was getting annoying because they take a long time to kill these rad scorpions. Let's just level everyone up a second. Might as well while we're waiting. Um, cool. And who is it they bought in? Okay, so Mother Betty is the Epic... Um, Okay, I just got a little bit confused then, but never mind. So it should be Epic Betty, right? That was that was, she was the lady that was out doing her own little thing um, before. So now we have an Epic Betty, um, and she's level fifty, isn't she? And she's got herself um, a tactical junk jet. But can we do better than that? We can. We can give her a dragon some more. There you go. She is geared up to the max, kicking ass, taking names, and um, this, like, wow, wow, they just killed all the death claws in the first room. So these guys. They're doing their job, yeah? Mother Claws, she got slightly injured. Sarah Lyons, she got a little bit wounded. But Epic Betty, like a champ, absolutely annihilating shit. And I've given it a plus four damage pet as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like, I just put it on there. I wasn't really thinking about it. I mean, plus four damage seems all right, doesn't it? I mean, it's going to make her pretty damn amazing. She really has a lot of health. So do we give it damage resistance? Or do we go, like, plus... Uh, it was a nine, I had, um, oh, one of the good pets, I'm getting a bit scatterbrained, I know, one of the good pets I managed to find, oh, main coon there, um, was, wait, where's Shadow? Shadow, where are you, little slag? Shadow, 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 can I, if I name, hmm, pets, there we go, so S for Shadow, there we go, fantastic, um, and plus 91% health, so maybe I give her that one instead, that would pretty much make her invincible, wouldn't it? Uh, but anyway, we, we have reason. Our power is actually dipping quite low because we keep getting attacked by rad scorpions. And rad scorpions are a massive drain on power. They're a nuisance that need to be wiped out. So, first things first, we have a lot of guys here, which unfortunately we're going to have to say goodbye to. So, let's get these guys in a second. This brings us to 100, so we've unlocked a new room. Um, obviously, it was previously unlocked because I had to reshuffle a few people. Um, that's why you'll only see, like, standard women. Wait a second. Hmm, I thought... Oh, right, you, you're, you're a special dude, aren't you? Okay, never mind. All right, so I guess we need to send these guys out. It's a, it's a shame, because they are rare dwellers, but we have rules, okay? And uh, rules wait for no man, right? Uh, so let's get these two ass bandits in as well. That's right, I called him an ass bandit. What are you going to do about it, eh? Uh, let's get this person in. Ah, so it's a lady. Good, good. And, oh, collect, collect, collect. What is the last room again? I can't remember. Uh, let's unlock the Nuka Cola Bottler. Woo! All done. So we are 101 dwellers. Nice! Um, so we got four people wanting to come in as well. Right, you get bent. We have rules, guys. I know. I know it's terrible that I'm throwing away perfectly good dwellers, but, you know. 
We've got to give ourselves a bit of a challenge, right? <laughs> oh, God. Right, cool. Fantastic. Okay, so now we have these ladies here as well. Epic cook and whatnot. Um, I have... Wow, she's got 10,000 caps. Now, I have... Um, what did I do? I sold some of the commons, and I've um, been through the stock room and sold a few things as well, but uh, we're running out of space. I had to build... I will show you now, actually, first of all, because it is a, a development. I did build an extra warehouse to house some more things because I just didn't have the room, you know? I didn't have the room. So, first things first, let's get Epic cooking. Oh, as I've learned previously, I have to back out before I, I can't stack them. It's really weird. Anyway, because sometimes it misses these little pop-ups. Right, so the T60D power armor, not bad. Not bad at all. Plus four endurance, plus two strength. So, so that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good indeed. Um, plus four, hang on a second. Oh, yes, of course, the pets. I was like, hang on, there's only three people in there. You're telling me I can't introduce any more people? But it's because of the pets. They can only have a certain amount of pets per room. I think it's three for the large ones, isn't it? It's like, what? Yeah, it's like half. Half capacity. You can only have pets. And uh, Epic Bush. Um, you're good. You're good. Good in the hood. Cool beans. She actually has a flask on her, which is pretty cool. And you can go in there. Didn't have any um, recipes or anything. But what can you do? You can't have it all your own way all the time. Otherwise, I don't know, reasons cool <laughs> reasons okay so i want to what do i want to do i want to put her there and put her there right so these are the new door guards these are the official door guards um we want to give her a better pet for door guarding right uh, something that's going to hit them really hard, like epic damage that's what we need for the front door because uh, we need to hit them hard as soon as they come through so sarah lines like a champ and we got mother claws why can't i select the other one there we go and mother claws they've both got really good weapons we've got miss launcher and a fire hydrant bat so they're, they're some of the top tier weapons which is good to have you know and of course um our current um a team our current epic team is epic cook epic bush and epic betty bringing it in for um the new girl <laughs> and we've got some people here as well oh wow okay so she's good on the old agility um so let's go finish her training off um, in a for agility, where are you? Which one room is it? That one there. Fantastic. Cool beans. And uh, you're good for strength is your forte. Forte. Let's put you down there and give you a, an outfit that better reflects your um, future career. Yeah? You can have the country girl outfit. That should be fine, shouldn't it? Um, you're already quite high, so you're already maxed out on you. And you need a weapon as well, so let's give you, like, um, I don't know, a Toon Plasma Pistol. Sure, why not? Um, you're slightly better at intelligence, so we're going to put you in the classroom. There we go. And, oh, crap. And, right, so what I'm doing is anybody with proficiency, I'm giving an outfit straight away. And um, so that allows me to be able to see who's good at what they do and who I'm just kind of circulating around. And you're best at endurance... Um, so I'm going to put you in the E room, and I'm going to give you a um, an outfit that reflects that. Um, e for agility, of course. Endurance, even. Not agility. E for agility? Wow, that's dumb. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. There's your training outfit. And, of course, we're being attacked by Death Claws for the second time in this recording. Oh, fuck me. Okay, let's just skip to them being dead. And they're dead. Wow. Um, once again... Didn't even get past the second room. <laughs> oh, right. It's like the first room, really. Do we count the, the, the door as a room? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, see, I'm still getting comments about this flipping door asking me to upgrade it. I will not upgrade the door. Stop asking me. Uh, right. So we want to kind of get moving then, I suppose, don't we? We've got our new A team. Um, we've got our new door team. Our, 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 our guards. Yep, that's the word. We've got our guards, uh, finally. It's, like, it's only taken, like, I don't know, a billion episodes to get guards. Uh, proper guards, uh, permanent ones, anyway. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird. I've got none. I've got none. But anyway, uh, we could maybe, uh, if we find one today, we'll open it. I don't see why not. Um, so we could finish off the Horse of the Apocalypse. I think that would be a good idea. So Epic Betty, uh, Epic Bush, and Epic Cook. Wow. Wowzers! And we want to go that, and then, sure, why? It doesn't really matter, does it? And start. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and here we are. This is like a very, quite a small little vault, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah, this is the right way. I think this is where we actually fight the last horseman of the pocket. Is it death? I think it is. Run for your lives. Death. Yeah, there we go. Death is awake and killing everyone. No one could have seen this coming. Lies. After all you've done, we can't let you leave. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to murderize them. We understand, but we prefer to take our chances with you than the death. I'm done with death. Okay. Because I remember the first time I did this, I won't ruin it for anyone, but like um, I was expecting one thing. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely going to happen. And then I was, suddenly I was expecting something different. And then it brought me back to exactly what I was expecting to begin with. Uh, it's, it's quite amusing, though. It is. It's definitely amusing. But this lady here apparently is a boss. Well, they went down like a sack of bricks, didn't they? Oh, nice. Wow, this room is very lootiful. <laughs> lootiful. Is that a word? Probably not, right? Oh, look. More rad scorpions. I love them. So, our weapons today. Uh, we've got this minigun. Uh, the lead belcher, which is a pretty damn decent weapon. Wait, what's that laser rifle? Uh, it's alright. It's that. It's that. And we've got two... Oh, agitated plasma thrower. And... A dragon's more. Now, I'm wondering if I have a better weapon than the agitated plasma thrower for epic hook to use. Hmm, not sure. But she's using the, like, the lesser grade version of the dragon's more. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the humanity. Death is not a morning person. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> what can you do, eh? And... Wow, okay, so they hit me with picks. That's fantastic. I mean, it's quite a scary weapon, isn't it? If someone ran at you with a pickaxe, I'm pretty sure you'd shit your pants. I mean, I'd shit my pants. But then again, I'm not exactly the most fearsome person. So, I don't know if that counts. Wow, it's like room two, and we've already got our crits up. This is going to be a tough mission, I think. So, we've got the Republic robes. Nice. Can the men wear the Republic robes? I honestly can't remember. Is it one of those female-only ones? Hmm. I don't really know. The manual never said death would try to kill us. Um, you guys didn't really read that manual very well, did you? Right, let's kill this lady. Oh, wow. That was really close. Never mundo. And who's this dude? I think that was Frederico, and he Frederico just died. Well, serves you right for murderizing everyone. I mean, not be a funny bit. If a pamphlet told me to go around killing everyone, I wouldn't do it. But then again, I mean, people have done probably worse for less in the past, so it's not like it's completely unbelievable. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, shit. Oh, great. I love these guys. They're my favorites. Can we not just kind of, like, simplify this a little bit? I mean, this guy clearly needs the crit. No, well, never mind. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, fuck it. Let's just use it. There we go. Five times five. Done. Oh, here we go. Now, what are you going to say? Right, flee. There's nothing for you down there but disbowments. Okay, so there's a lot of people fighting. <laughs> That makes sense? Yeah. So there's a lot of people fighting. We've grown the kind of like, well, we're about halfway through here, aren't we? I mean, I think we're smack bang right in the middle, actually. And um, we've fought pretty much every, like a person in every room almost. So um, yeah, it's it's been very full. There's a lot of people running away. Um, if you were like, I don't know, to look into this maybe, you would think there's a lot of people running. There's, there can't be a lot of people dying, right? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to spoil the surprise, but... <laughs> Oh, look! More rad scorpions. Hooray. Oh, what if death is a rad scorpion? Oh, no, that was, um... Famine, was it? Was it famine? The glowing one? Oh, oh no, it was a pestilence. I think it might have been pestilence. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I've slept since then. Jesus. And this guy... It's taken a while, isn't he? Okay, so we're getting towards the end of the vault now. And I think... The end of the quest... Hmm, we've got one more room after this one, or one more place after this one, I think. I can't remember, do we fight war after this? No, I think war's already been beaten, isn't he? I don't know, there's one person left, I suppose. Um, but I thought that, like, we got three of them on one mission, and then we're going to the fourth now, so I, I can't remember what the last mission's for, to be honest with you. Now, you there, Epic Betty, you take a bit of damage, aren't you? What's your armor? So you've got, like, 13 endurance. You're supposed to be a bit stronger than this, but, hmm, oh well, what can you do, hey? Uh, I consider this hazard pay. Well, you can consider all you like. <laughs> Don't mean shit, man. Right, so... Wow, last floor. What are we going to find? Ah, here we go. A fucking huge death claw. It's death! Let's uh, let's reap what he's sown. Oh, well. Death died, didn't he? That was a bit underwhelming, wasn't it? It's almost like that wasn't the real boss. It's almost like I haven't killed death. <laughs> so when I first played this, right, I thought it was going to be like an alpha death claw because pretty much all the quest line bosses are alpha death claws. Like the giant bunny for like um, the Easter one is is like a, a death claw. Um, but then I thought, hmm, maybe it's something a bit silly, yeah? Maybe it's something 
something you wouldn't expect. Something like a, maybe not a rad roach, but something closer, yeah? Somehow I don't think that alpha death claw was, a, that wasn't an alpha, was it? Surely. Uh, was death. Call it a hunch. The real one must be in the next room. This is it, everyone. Time to dance with death. For the overseer, for the wasteland. So, we are about to find out what death is. Oh look, it's a mole rat! <laughs> Death is a mole rat? For crying out loud! Oh wow, I, I screwed up so often. <laughs> but but of course it is, because it's Fallout. I mean, what what else would it be? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's it, guys. Ooh, giddy up buttercup. So that was Death and a pressurized flamer. Oh wow, at Death's door. Death is now dead. So all the horsemen of the apocalypse, horsemen? All the horsemen of the apocalypse are now dead! Uh, we got two quantums for that. We got seven, uh, almost eight thousand caps actually, and we got a Gideon Buttercup, which I still don't know what they're for. Have I ever used a Gideon Buttercup? I'll have to find out what they're used for. It's probably something really mundane, like a, a BB gun or something. Okay, so we used up the two quantums we just earned to get them home. <laughs> nice. Sell the commons. Thank you very much, and we'll just collect it all. Nice. Wait. Okay. Weird. Um, it certainly isn't a new day yet. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> soldier's uniform. Tactical junk jet. We have all these. We have all the dupe. We have all the, um, the rare blueprints. So, and we have all the, um, the fragments as well. So it all just gets turned instantly into caps. We've got 118,000, you know. That's pretty cool. We could do some expansions. We can, um, build some shit. Right, so let's get these, um, ladies in here so they don't wander off. And, oh, oh. Is there not a better outfit for, um... For our new epic. Is that not a better one? It just seems like that's a bit shit. It's not terrible, is it? I mean, it's plus seven stats. Um, hmm, hmm. I suppose it's probably the best thing that we have for the moment. Uh, but we should be getting something soon and maybe then she can have that. That sounds good, right? So, anyway, we've got uh, the next mission to do. Um, is it Horseman of the Apocalypse Part 3. So let's do it. Let's get started. Just desserts. Discover the origin of the horseman. So, this isn't actually a fighty fighty quest. It's a bit of a talky talky quest. And um, we hear the results of of what happened, basically. We go back to the um, the bugle and they talk, I think they talk to us, don't they? Or they leave, someone's left us notes and I think it's Drusilla. Right, here's a note on the wall here. Thank you for coming. Before I get to the horseman, let me offer praise. The way Sun is now a much safer place because of your extraordinary efforts. On behalf of everyone living here peacefully, or there peacefully, thank you for all you've done. Fantastic. Okay, that's a very nice letter. Ooh. So, I, th I wonder if this is actually the same layout? This probably is, right? It would make sense. I mean, it's, it's, it cuts down on the work, so... <laughs> uh, probably is. Right, so another note. Right, even before the horsemen, the wastelands were a wild, dangerous place. How could set uh, settlers build life when surrounded by fear and violence? Extreme problems require extreme solutions. Ooh, ooh, the final solution, right? That's what the Nazis were talking about. Oh, no. Oh, no. It continues. An idea came to me when I learned that Vault 144 um, had found its death, a hibernating mole rat. Whispering in the right ears uh, was it all it took to spawn a cult around the person or creature. For the greater good, I created famine, pestilence, and war. Oh, dear. Fabricated. So they, they unionized or... <laughs> Unionized? Factionated. Factionated the bad guys. I mean, these aren't words. <laughs> well, unionated. Wait, is that? I don't even know. Unionized, right? I don't know. Uh, right, looks like the last note. Raiders, ghouls, and criminals came from all over to fight for the horsemen. Ah, uh, fight and die. The culling was in progress, but I needed heroes to help mop up, which you did beautifully. A thank you gift is in the next room. I'll be in touch if I ever need you again. Drusilla. Sip, it. it's Drusilla. So she organized... She... Turn everyone into factions, and then they killed each other off. It's kind of clever if you think about it. It's your amazing ward, wait for you in part four. Jack, just kidding. You have to see the look on your faces. Mistress Gisela would like to offer you a choice of formidable outerwear. Take your pick. Okay. So we've got famine's vestments, war's armor, pestilence's plating, and death's jacket. Now, I've gone only for war's armor before, twice. Because it's, it looks like the best, right? So you've got strength, perception, endurance, and charisma. I mean, they're four pretty decent stats. But do we want to go with something else? Um, like pestilence plating sounds pretty cool. Um, agility is good because it speeds up um, crits and stuff. Endurance obviously good for health. 
Christmas intelligence? Not so good though, is it? So, um, maybe... Hmm. I like the idea of the vestments though, but it doesn't seem that great. War's armor definitely seems like the best armor there. But maybe we just go with pestilence plating. Sure. Just, just to change it up a bit. Maybe we don't go min-max. Maybe we just go for something because we want to go for it. Excellent choice. Cool. There we go. And it's the synth armor as well, isn't it? So it looks a little bit funky. Um, so there we go. She is now... Oh, wow, I've never actually seen it on someone before. I didn't realize it had a helmet. That's fucking cool. I'm glad I went with that one. It looks really cool. And um, the stats are pretty cool as well. Look. So plus four endurance, plus four charisma, plus four intelligence, plus four agility. So, you know, I mean... Yeah, why not? She doesn't do extra damage, but she's got a pet for that, and she's got a dragon some more, so yeah, fuck it in the bucket. She's gonna kick ass, take names, and go back to Sunday. Anyway, so, uh, what we do now is, uh, oh, Christ, um, that's weird. Right, so what we do now is uh, we go back, we should have a new quest, and that's our, like, wrap-up quest. Let's go back. Um, so, yeah, pestilence plating, and we got the quest as well, so it's return back to the vault. Okay, so, oh wow, that's actually legendary. Heavy battle armor. Okay, fine. Wait, reach now. Come on, come home. Fantastic. Collect. Cool. Right, now, let's close that. Oh, God. My, my mouse seems to be out of sync a little bit. That's weird. I think it's because I accidentally resized the game. So it's, everything's like um, a little bit off at the minute. So apologies if I uh, misclick and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get these gals in a second. Cool beans. Right, so they're in. Um, and um, I'm going to save that last quest, which I will show you now, um, for the next time. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here. Vault um, 789. And it comes with um, some pretty fucking tasty rewards. But it is hard as balls. It's not a level 20 mission. Oh, actually. Wait a second. Maybe it is. I think the last mission I, I got for this, I, I'm... I remember reading, whether or not it's true or not, I remember reading that you get, like, a chance to get a special quest, right? And these special quests can be picked up um, in other places and stuff like that, especially from people out in the wasteland. Um, and I don't think I... The last one I was a level 50 mission, I think. Oh, I don't know. I might be remembering things correctly. I'm not sure if I've done this one, Vault 789. Um, but maybe I have. I don't know. We'll have to kind of see. But I'm going to leave it for next time. Um, and I'm going to leave the episode here. I will say, though, I'm not going to be uploading for a little while. I'm in the I'm in the process of a move. Um, we are moving um, e Tuesday, I believe. Um, but there's lots of packing to do. And, like, you know, the, um, it's stressful enough as it is without having to kind of, like, upload to YouTube and stuff like that. And the views have been, like, really down at the minute. So it's, like, putting on all that extra work and kind of getting nowhere with it. So... For the meantime, I'm going to, like, stop uploading, at least until I'm settled in a new place. So then I'll, I'll look at it again, I guess. Kind of, like, look at the situation when I get back and decide whether or not to kind of, like, continue. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Oh, there will be a video tomorrow. Um, don't starve. Um, because it's, I recorded that one already. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload the Sunday video. And then we'll start from Monday. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Ciao!